Our video of the day comes to us from President Trump, who recently teamed up with Lee Greenwood to create the God Bless the USA Bible. Roll it. Proud to be partnering with my very good friend, Lee Greenwood. Who doesn't love his song, God Bless the USA, in connection with promoting the God Bless the USA Bible. Religion and Christianity are the biggest things missing from this country. And I truly believe that we need to bring them back and we have to bring them back fast. I think it's one of the biggest problems we have. That's why our country is going haywire. All Americans need a Bible in their home and I have many. It's my favorite book. It's a lot of people's favorite book. We love God and we have to protect anything that is pro-God. We must make America pray again. Got a lot of Bibles in his house, but he's got a point. America under Joe Biden has most of us on our knees. We actually reached out to Trump for comment to hear more about his thoughts on the Bible. And he got back to us, I think. I wonder what he thinks about Ab Adam and Eve. Frankly, as far as Adam and Eve go, I would never take fruit from a naked woman, especially Stormy Daniels. Also, I don't eat fruit. I think it's very nasty. Diet Coke, that's a different story. They say, sure, we love the Diet Coke. I'd take a Diet Coke from Nancy Pelosi, frankly, even though she's a nasty, nasty woman. Did you see that picture of her in a bikini? So nasty. I think she had two Diet Cokes stuffed into that bathing suit, if you know what I'm saying, frankly. I mean, that could have made Lazarus return from his grave. <laughs> All right. What about Moses? Moses, let's talk about Moses. Moses wandered the desert for 40 years. That didn't happen to me in Scottsdale because I learned to play golf so good, frankly. His supporters, think of it, worshipped a golden cow. They say, sir, a golden cow. I bet they love the view, right? No offense to the view. I'm sure they're lovely to some, but frankly, fat women just aren't my type. What can I say? Talk about a view. That's a view. Really a panoramic. You can't even, you got to do wide angle. We got Easter coming up. He has risen. He, she, they, them has risen. It's all woke. I don't think these women could rise out of a chair. They need a forklift, frankly, or a crane, I think. <laughs> oh, can't say I disagree. <laughs> What about Noah? Any thoughts on him? Oh, I love Noah. I talk, had a great call with him, perfect phone call with Noah today. I see problems before they happen, but I have a bigger boat, frankly, much bigger. But there's no live animals on mine, except for when I want fresh feel, so fresh, I love fresh feel. They say, sir, that's gonna make the animal rights people go crazy, sir. They already are crazy. You know, probably, frankly, because they don't get enough meat. They have no nutrients. They're pencil thin, just like Adam Schiff's neck. Pencil neck. Yes. <laughs> uh, all right. I think that was uh, Tyler Fisher doing it. <laughs> oh, my God. Wonderful. There he is, the little guy. All right, Dagan. Um, uh, what do you think of Trump's the <laughs> Bible? It's... Very Trump. <laughs> well, one, it causes the Biden supporters and all the left wing bags to kind of own themselves because they're trying to make fun of him mm -hmm. for selling Bibles. And instead, they're mocking the Bible. Mm. And so, also, what are you going to do? All right, you might dare to knock a MAGA hat off somebody's head, but you're going to knock a Bible out of somebody's hand, and then I get to sit back and watch you burst into flames. <laughs> <laughs> um, and what's Biden got on the flip side? What, Biden's agnostic bomb for your knee boo-boo after you fall? <laughs> That's the best you got. Yeah. Kat, what do you think about this? Is it a little cheesy or is it, uh, you know, you don't have to buy it. I think he might watch this and get the idea for an audiobook <laughs> where, <laughs> like, Trump reads the Bible. I but, would buy that. Well, like, yeah. I mean, like today, right? I, like in it, like in his own words, like today's Good Friday. He <laughs> talks about like crooked Judas and the haters and the losers. <laughs> like, I, I mean, people like he's he's doing this during Holy. It's like, of course he is. Mm -hmm. Of of course he is. And you know what else? People are going to buy it. Mm -hmm. I mean, reading the description of this, it's like comes with a big, large, easy to read, beautiful font or whatever. <laughs> I mean. 
I, yeah, you, you don't have to buy it, but you know what? People are going to. You look at you, white evangelicals, like 80% of them vote for Donald Trump. No matter what, how many times people have pointed out, oh, well, Trump did this and Trump did that. Clearly, they don't care. He has said before the Bible is his favorite book. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm surprised there hasn't been an audio version already. You don't have to like it, but people will, and yeah. they will buy it. You know, and it's funny. It's like... Uh, oh, it's hilarious. <laughs> yeah, but they, it they, is. They, Tyrus, they're trying uh, to drain him with lawfare, and now they make fun of him for trying to raise money. Listen, I, I think only President Trump... This is why I want at least one debate. He's like, sir, you had $174 million in fines to pay. He's like, yeah, and the Lord paid it for me. Yeah. <laughs> like, I think... I think... I think... <laughs> I just, <laughs> I, I can't talk trash because I'm not a religious dude, right? But I, I respect the rules of religion because I think when the country follows them, we're a better country, right? But uh, I wouldn't. Yeah. And I'm, I got four kids and three baby mamas, man. I need <laughs> as much money as I get. I, I don't know, maybe, <laughs> maybe the street version of the Bible with Tyrus. <laughs> The Lord said unto thee, to the young man, no, did he? <laughs> <laughs> nice. In his name we pray. Yes. Charlie, why should he limit it to, you know, Christianity? Why not do a version of the Quran or the, <laughs> or the Torah? Yeah, I think that, that, that might not work as well. <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> but it is always the same with these people. It's always these people who care the least about what God has to say, who become the most offended when Donald Trump supposedly is trying to... Uh, you know, benefit from or commercialize off the Bible. And, and but, it, and when I first heard about it, I just dismissed it because you hear so much of, you know, so, so much of the outrage, you're just like, okay, this is really stupid. But then I sat and listened, watched the video and I watched the video and I was like, oh, this is so fantastic. And the reason it's so great is because he goes right to the point. He's not being like subtle about it. No. He's being like, this is what we need to do. <laughs> and he's like, he's like defending the Bible in the in the public square which is actually i think is a is a very smart thing to be doing and and he's not apologizing for it does and, anybody get a royalty well yeah there is a financial aspect to it but there is to any bible you buy yeah, every bible that's what i meant like, it's a, like a every bible gets who paid. gets the money when you buy a bible right but the point is Can't, that it's it's donald like, where Trump. does it go who's the author yeah but do, it's, <laughs> it's this is my only question charlie yeah. Who's the, the author who gets the bobbity? The copyright has expired. The, okay, that. the copyright has expired, therefore there is no way to do that. It's, it's, what are, there are other books like that, right? Yeah, every book that's over like 50 years old, the copyright uh, expires. Uh, that's wrong. <laughs> All right. You're well, thinking about uh, yourself right now. Yes, yeah, I, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You know, all you have to do is change one word on the end of each chapter of the Bible and it technically would be a new book. That's true. Got felt. That's true. All right. <laughs> Up next, a nonprofit gets banned. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.